So Steve, continuing on the FRS 102 theme, mm -hmm. what does I have to say about the capitalisation of website development costs? Um, well, website development costs are not actually specifically dealt with um, in FRS 102. Oh, okay. um, however, in order to recognise such costs as an asset on the balance sheet, um, the expenditure, the website development costs have got to meet the recognition criteria for an asset, i.e. probable inflow of economic benefit and a reliable measure of cost. Um, if the website has got functionality uh, to enable a, a customer to order goods and or services right. from the website, then that creates a revenue stream for the business. Sure. And therefore, the probable inflow of economic benefits is fulfilled. If the website's got a cost that can be reliably measured, then it also meets the recognition criteria, so you can capitalise it in those circumstances. Right. However, if the website doesn't have functionality in which to order goods or services, or and or services, then all the development costs are written off to the PL account as they're incurred. Okay, that's really interesting. Let's go and see where that information is on the site. <laughs>